Well, are we back in 2020 again? I mean, this is deja vu, return of mandates to college campuses. And, you know, I talked about Rutgers University earlier in the week about how they are now disenrolling students who do not comply with their vax mandate. But now we can add another college to that list that has, well, similar type of mandates going on. We're going to dive in and discuss in a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, to walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, it's kind of my only option. So what college are we talking about? We're talking about the Atlanta-based Morris Brown College. This is a private college in the Atlanta area. And yeah, here we go. This came out of nowhere in a letter that was sent out to students, to faculty, other employees on Sunday, August 20th, saying that effective immediately, the campus will be returning to mask mandates at least for the next two weeks. Now, classes had already been in session for about a week prior to this letter going out. But over the next 14 days, according to the college president, uh, these mask mandates are going to be reinforced. But that's not it. Um, and, and I want to stress this, too, because this has nothing to do because the college president said this has to do with an uptick of cases in the area, except the fact that there are no zero reported cases actually at Morris Brown College. So where is this coming from? I'm going to tell you in a second, but really quick, guys, if you could consider making a generous donation here to my ministry to help support what I do. Now, let me say this. You know, my channel is so incredibly censored. It is suppressed by YT on this platform. They're never going to allow me to get above a certain plateau. Yeah, my subscriber count may show over 12,400, but that's not reflective in the views. If you take a look at the views of these videos, you know, I, I mean, they can barely crack 100 on a consistent basis. And for, you know, those that have told me, well, you get, you get ads that come up, so you get ad revenue. The ad revenue is nothing, guys, unless your videos are averaging consistently in the thousands of views, uh, there is no ad revenue. You don't get anything from, you know, 100 views or so. There's just nothing there. So they're never going to allow me to succeed. I and mean, you look at my likes are down, the interactions are down. I could change my channel name to Biden number one fan. It wouldn't matter. They have little buttons they hit in the background for certain channels they don't like, like mine. Um, and so they're always going to keep me down. But you guys can send them a message saying, you know what? You may not let him succeed, but we are going to. And here's how you could do it. One, click the super thanks button down below on this video here where you can throw me a tip with a one-time donation of any amount. Very easy to do from the main video page here. Or join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Link in the description. When you sign up there to Patreon, you get exclusive early access to the videos before they ever hit the main YouTube platform. Also with that, you're going to actually get the alerts for all videos with Patreon. Again, YT suppresses me. So many people don't get it notified when I put videos out. You don't have that issue with Patreon. We're also there. Comment censorship free on all videos and send me direct messages. Check it out. It's patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So the college president said this, that the reason that they are reinstituting the mask mandate and more, and I'll tell you that in a second, is because of an uptick supposedly, but there's nothing to prove this, of cases in the Atlanta Center University, which is, again, not on Morris Brown. The college president admitted they were doing this out of precaution. Precaution. That's right. Again, no reporting. This coming out of nowhere, again, it's been, what, a few years, like I said, 2020. And now they're, they're getting worried that they want to avoid another potential pandemic at Morris Brown. So they listed in this letter a bunch of rules now going forward. And I think it'll be extended far beyond two weeks. It always is. Remember, just two weeks to flatten the curve. How'd that work out? Yeah. So students will be required uh, to wear masks at all times, as well as staff and faculty, except when they're in their offices privately, where it's just them, then they can take their mask off. But also they will be banning any large student gatherings on the campus, at least for the next two weeks. And again, maybe more. But not only that, they're also bringing back our, our, one of our favorite things. Social distancing is coming back for in-person classes, as well as contact tracing. And yes, mandatory temperature checks for all students. <laughs> I told you guys this was going to be coming back. It was not over. It's not over at all. Actually, look at Revelation chapter 13. And well, that's where this is headed. 
But also, for any student that does happen to test positive, well, you will be required to go into isolation for at least five days and report to your teacher or professor for remote learning options. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and if you thought that, you know, these people learned anything from before, they didn't. And the reason this is coming back is, well, yes, of course, we have, you know, an election coming up. But it's so much bigger than that. Look at Bible prophecy. Please read Revelation chapter 13, because this is where this is all going. These people love power. They were drunk with it, right? They got away from this, the mandates for a little bit, and now they're coming back. And if you missed the video I did about how Biden is wanting all Americans to get their boosters again, well, then please go back and watch that video, because it's all starting to align together once again. Jesus Christ is coming soon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. That's all I got for you right now. Uh, more in the description. What I want to do right now, though, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed on everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we are in the last days, really the final hours, and Christ is coming soon. But for anybody out there, if you have not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to give you the option to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link in the description. Remember, signing up to Patreon, you get exclusive early access to the videos before they hit the main YT platform. Or you can simply click the super thanks button down below on this video here where you can throw me a tip with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk soon.